checking multiplication. Uh huh. Oh, uh, how we check? That's right. We gotta use division, right? Because division is the opposite of multiplication. That's right. So, hey, let's calculate this one first. Okay, multiplication. Okay, seven times nine, sixty-three. Mm, just like that. Now, five times nine is forty-five. Forty-five plus six is six. Uh, 51 so 5 1 right there 51 now 1 times 9 is 9 9 plus 5 is 14 whoo great see 14 right there now uh, we check this one by division that's right okay so division goes like this one so final answer for this multiplication we call product right product now, we're going to put product inside of this one. 1, 4, 1, 3. Divide by this number right there. See? 9. Oh. So, okay, let's go. 9 goes in 14. How many times? One time. That's right. Okay, 1 times 9 is 9. Now, subtract, right? Oh, just like this. Okay, 14 minus 9 is 5. Now, we borrow this. Ooh, 51 divided by 9. That's right. 5 times, right? So easy. 5 times 9 is 45. We just write 45 right there. Okay. Now, subtract again. Okay, which is, uh-oh. So, 51 minus 45 is 6. So, now, we borrow this. Okay, 63 divided by 9. Oh, that's right. Seven times, right? Seven times nine is 63. Now we subtract. Zero. Wow. Perfect. So now the answer is 157. Let's check. That's right. 157 right there. Just now, actually, I used the long division. Hey. How about the short division? I love short division. I always use the short division. So now, how you do? Oh, well, if you like it, use it. But hey, you don't have to, okay? Be careful now. Okay, short division looks like this one. Okay, put this sign just like this, upside down. <laughs> now, one, four, one, three. See? Now, divide by nine. Okay. Now, 14 divided by 9, that's right, one time. Then, 5 left, see? Uh, now, 51, see? You read this way, see? Just like this. 51 divided by 9, 5 times. See, 5 times 9 is 45. So now, 51 minus 45, which is 6 left. Now, 63 divided by 9, 7 times. Oh, 7 times 9 is 63. So no leftover. So no remainder. Perfect. That's it. How about checking division? Uh huh. Division. So we have to check by the opposite one, right? Which is multiplication. Okay. Let's do this one anyway. Okay. Seven goes in sixty-six. How many times? Oh, that's right. Nine times, right? Okay. Nine times, which is sixty-three. So, subtract, okay, 3 left. Okay, we drop this 3, 33 divided by 7. That's right, 4 times, right? Okay, 4 times 7 is 28, so 28 right there, then subtract. Okay, what is this one? That's right, 5, then we drop 6, 56 divided by 7. Oh, must be 8, right? Okay. So 8 times 7, 56. Great. So divisible. Perfect. Now, how we check? That's right. We use the multiplication, right? Okay. 948. This was the quotient, right? So we call this one quotient. Okay. So quotient times this divisor, which is 7. Oh, we just multiply this one. 
That's it. So now, seven times eight. Oh, 56. Great. Now, four times seven, which is 28. 28 plus five, 33. Oh, 33. That's it. Now, seven times nine, 63. So 63 and three, 66. Okay, 66. Wait a minute, 6,636. Oh, that's right. This was this, right there. Okay, 6,636. Oh, exactly. Also this one, so we can say prove. That's right, proof. Aha, so we made proof. Okay, so division by multiplication.